Hey y'all, welcome to Bourbon and Bones, and this is a special Father's Day alert. Because Father's Day is two days away, and many of us have waited to the last minute to get a gift for our father. And so since you're here at Bourbon and Bones often, figured we might do a possible bourbon choice for you for Father's Day. So we've thrown together a $30 to $50 range for pricing for the bottles, for the 750s, and these should be much easier for you to find. And we're going to base them off of bourbons that they already like. So if the father that you're shopping for really loves Blanton's or Eagle Rare, you don't have enough time to find it. I'm sorry, but you've waited the last minute, so that's why you're here. So let's try some of these other low rye options. And low rye means a bourbon that has less than 20% rye in its mash bill. So we have Willet Pot Still, sitting about 13% rye. There's also Angel's Envy. Now this only has about 18% rye in its mash bill. So this is different from Angel's Envy rye, which is very hard to get a hold of, but Angel's Envy you can even find it at the grocery store from time to time. So it's going to be, it might take a little hunting, but I think you're going to find it. Next on docket, I'm going to say probably Yellowstone. Yellowstone is only a 13% rye, a really great little sipper. Followed then by Old Scout, about an 8% rye, really one of the lowest on here. Very similar to Blanton's in, in mash bill quantities. Comes out of West Virginia, but pretty well circulated. So it might be a really good option for you. And then there's 1792. Comes out of Barton, so it's underneath Sazerac. There's the small batch, which is pretty plentiful everywhere you go. But if you have the opportunity to pick up like the single barrel or the ball and bond, might be a really good option for you there. But even then, 1792 with a 18% rye mash fill, would still be a really good option for you. The next option we have is for the wheated lover. So that is bourbon, instead of using rye, it uses wheat in their mash bill. So these are for the Weller fans. These are for the Pappy Van Winkle fans. Now, while there may not be true comps for those brands, there are some really great wheated bourbons out there and they're definitely worth the hunt. So first off, we're gonna go for Maker's Mark Barrel Proof. Now, yes, that is a high proof, so you might kind of want to warn them if they're not much of a high proof drinker, but that's a fantastic weeded bourbon. And a little bit different, because if they're a big Maker's Mark fan, that's a great option for you. Next would be Rowan's Creek. Comes out of Willet, like we've had before, but it is their only weeded bourbon brand. Fantastic one. Next comes the Rebel Yell series. So Rebel Yell, normally pretty plentiful on the shelf, but may not quite make the cut overall. But if you can kick up their reserve batch or even their single barrel, that might be a really good option for the father in your life. They're both great, but the reserve probably, in my opinion, is one of the best ones. And the single barrel does have the single barrel roulette rule. So some barrels are gonna be fantastic and some might be just okay. But the reserve is always an exceptional option for you. So the next stage would be the mid to high rye bourbons. That means 20% to 45% of the mash bill is rye. And so this is a pretty broad category. So what I've set up here is not a comparable so much as like a lot of people love Knob Creek. Well, a good option for you then might be the Knob Creek 12 year or maybe a Knob Creek single barrel. Old Forester, very popular choice, but perhaps going with their 1897, which is their bottle and bond or the 1820, which is 115 proof. Next for the Evan Williams lover, Definitely look for a single barrel, and I know these are absolutely everywhere and completely worth it. Old Granddad Bottle and Bond. Might sound like an odd one to choose, but it really is probably one of the best bourbons out there for under $20. And for the John Wayne father in your life, definitely look for the Duke. It's a great bottle, a great story behind it. And then, if you're on a budget, but you're still looking for a really nice high rye bourbon, 
definitely go for the Varial Barton 100 proof. It's their bottle and bond style and honestly it's a great budget option and if that's what you can get your hands on I think you're I think the father might actually be really really surprised by how good it is. Now the next option might be a rye. So a lot of people love Sazerac rye but as we've talked about before it's kind of hard to get a hold of. So a couple good options might be a Willet rye. And depending on where you are, this might still be a little bit of a unicorn for you. It might be a little bit hard to get a hold of. But Knob Creek single barrel rye should be pretty much anywhere. And that's always going to be a great option for you. Also looking for a Pinhook 2020 rye is going to be a wonderful option. Old Overholt Bonded is going to be another one. That one is like Old Grandad. It's got a really old label, but will surprise whoever's trying it. And my absolute favorite is probably Mirror Case Rye. It's done in sherry barrels. And the reason why you don't see those ryes up here is because I drank them. And I'm not even sorry about it. The final option is going to be the High Proofs. I personally love them, but it might be a little bit too much for someone who's new to bourbon or has never really ventured into some of those areas. So be a little careful when choosing them. But if they've been drinking whiskey for a while, it might be a really fun way for them to explore a new option. And so high proof means anything that's generally over about 100, 102 proof. So Wild Turkey 101, in my opinion, drops just below that line of high proof. So I want to start off first of all with the Pinhook 2020 release. It's 114.5 proof, but absolutely phenomenal. One of my truly one of my favorite bourbons. Another good option is the Old Forester 1920. That's 115 proof and that's their Prohibition style. Pretty popular and pretty easily to get a hold of. Next would be the Knob Creek Single Barrel. It's a nine-year-old at 120 proof. Another great option would be Wild Turkey Wild Breed. Running at 112.8 proof. And finally, if you can, and if they're a newer whiskey drinker getting into higher proofs, look for a 1792 full proof. It is 125 proof as well, but it might be a little bit hard to get a hold of, but it might be a really good introduction into the full proof world. And my final opinion for the day is a single barrel select. This is usually done by larger liquor stores or more high-end liquor stores where they actually have an opportunity to select the bourbon that goes into each bottle. So I've got, for example, I've got a bottle of Eager Rare. That's a single barrel. It's going to taste a little bit different from the normal Eagle Rare iterations, along with Elijah Craig and Buffalo Trace even a Weller 101, but even as simple as a Knob Creek Rye or a Yellowstone. All of these were chosen by someone who has gone through some training and they love whiskey and they love giving their customers the best whiskey possible. I would say, if nothing else, find a nice barrel select for someone. It's going to be be a little bit different from what they normally like. It's going to bring in a little bit more flavors that they normally wouldn't taste in their favorite bourbons. And a really nice gift. It usually is a little bit more, maybe $10 more, $15. But for the most part, it's a really good option. And I think it'd be a really nice gift for Father's Day. So thank you for joining Bourbon and Bones today for our emergency broadcast for Father's Day. I hope this helps you pick the right bottle for the father in your life. Whether it's a single barrel select or a high rye, a weeded, I mean, the opportunities are endless. And if you can't decide, just find one that you think looks nice and hope that the juice inside is just as good. What matters is that you tried and that you're trying to give somebody something special. And so remember, to thank a father and to share bourbon, perhaps with a father today.